Hello friends, Adam here with FED. So, uh, we've been playing Three Houses recently, and we're using All Mages on the Black Eagles route. So, we get to use uh, units that I don't normally do, one of which being Hubert. Um, we are going Silver Snow, so I'm not using him as much. But, uh, I've looked into him more, and looked at his stats, his uh, learned spells, everything, his skills, and I'm really impressed uh, with Hubert. Hubert is uh, a lot better than people give him credit for. Uh, across the the three houses fandom uh, at large at least that's how I at least I think so it's my opinion so far uh, so let's take a look at the different aspects of mr. mr. Hubert here mr. mr. dark evil man and uh, talk about what makes him good so his stats you know this is like surface level stuff his base stats are you know little to Leave little to be desired, except that 12 magic is pretty fat, right? We like 12 magic, and 7 speed is decent enough uh, to keep up with most with most units in the early game. He'll still get doubled, but so will, like, you know, everybody else. <laughs> so, 12 magic is pretty okay. Growth rates are actually, th these three, magic, dex, and speed, are all, like, pretty similar to Lysithia, who I think is a mage that most people would consider is pretty good. Uh, and they're really only less by like five to ten percent at most, right? So that's actually pretty pretty gnarly. Um, like just five percent less on a growth rate from Lysithia in magic means you're probably gonna have a pretty fat magic stat by the end of the game. And then if we take stuff into account like uh, switching into dark mage or we're switching into mage for that plus ten growth right there, you're gonna be growing pretty quick. He's gonna be growing like a weed. It's gonna be pretty good. Uh, proficiencies, whatever. I mean, his faith is bad. I get that people really like all their mages be able to heal, but I don't think that's necessary, necessarily. Yeah, necessary, necessarily. That's what I said. Yeah, that's that's staying in, too. Alright. Uh, his spell list, you look at it and you think, well, he is just Lysithia without warp. Or he's just happy without warp and physic. He's just worse Lysithia. And you look at it and you're like, yeah, okay, I get you. He does get recover, which I think recover is a sorely underrated uh, healing spell, by the way. But, uh, he also gets uh, another magic spell over on his dark list that is very impressive and is in just unique to him. He's literally the only unit in the entire game, well, I should say playable unit in the entire game, that has this particular spell. That particular spell being Meyer. So let's take a look at Meyer. Meyer, when you look at his stats, or it's like whatever, 8 uses, 3 might... 70 hit, honestly, the 3 might and 70 hit are pretty bad, and that's worse than Miasma. But, 1 to 3 range, at D plus rank, is really, that's really early for a 1 to 3 range spell. Usually units get it around C or C plus with Thoron, uh, but he gets it a lot faster with Meyer, which is really cool. But what makes it really special, is its special effect, reduces foe's defense by 5 for 1 turn. Consider you're fighting a demonic beast that has, you know, four, three or four health bars or something, and you need to, uh, you know, you whittle them down over time. Uh, having Hubert attack first with Meyer from three spaces away, so he'll be totally safe, number one. Uh, you, number two, it reduces that defense by five. And let's just be low ball it and not be super generous or anything. Let's say you only have like five or six people uh, after Hubert attack, and let's say that only like two of them can double. So we're going to say there's seven or eight attacks. We're going to say eight. There's eight extra attacks and that go through uh, on this demonic beast. But at reduced by five there, that's 40 extra damage. 40 extra damage. And that's assuming no crits either. If there's any crits, that's adding uh, an initial 10 on top of any of those fives. So that's pretty, pretty nasty. Uh, Meyer is just like, people like to tout, you know, poison strike for being good for demonic beast. But it's really not, by the way. Uh... But Meyer, I think, is the real the real strat, personally. So yeah, that's really, really good. He would also get some really incredible abilities. The two that really stand out to me are Rally Speed, which comes pretty late, so that's less imp impressive. But Rally Magic at D Authority is really early, and honestly, pretty, pretty nice. Plus four magic is plus one warp range, plus one rescue range. Uh, adds to physic range if you need it for some reason. <laughs> and also it can just be plus 8 damage or something uh, on a player phase. Or if you somehow have a magic tank 
that can be a uh, you know plus four damage for each attack across the entire enemy phase as well. He also gets Battalion Wrath, and if you have to choose between getting Battalion Wrath or Battalion Vantage, I will always say Battalion Wrath is better, just because you can get Vantage so much earlier in the game. So you could have the Vantage Wrath combo uh, as early as uh, you know maybe level level. 15, we'll, or we'll say level like 16 or 17, being generous, saying it takes a long time to master uh, to master the mercenary class. So I understand that's like not his kind of end game goal, but Hubert has the potential, which is kind of cool. And then Rally Res is whatever, but it's there. He also gets Frozen Lands, but it's less important, and his other stuff, his you know his combat arts or whatever. I don't really care about those either. If you're using him for for magic for bows and stuff, it's whatever. So, Hubert, really solid damage dealer that uh, it honestly doesn't require a lot of investment. It's just, you just use him. You don't have to teach him extra mu much or anything. You just really have him focus on his reason and his, uh, his authority stat, and he's going to be a solid unit for the entire game. I wouldn't even bother putting him to, like, Dark Knight or anything. Just go with, like, Dark Mage. Uh, I mean, w Warlock or uh, Dark Bishop. And uh, he'll be totally fine for the entire playthrough. I guess if you do want the the, the Dark Tome Fair and the extra move, then yeah, Dark Knight's where you want to go. But you can also... Well, there's an argument to go uh, elsewhere. But it's just... I'm just saying, if you don't want to put a lot of extra work into him, he can be very usable. Obviously, the best thing to do would be to go Dark, dark Knight eventually. But, yeah. I don't know. Well, that's just my opinion, though. I, I think Hubert is really underrated and should be uh, seen as a better unit than he is. But anyways, that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think Hubert is worth using? Do you think he's uh, better than uh, some other mage alternatives? Uh, let me know. Where does he rank among the mages for you in Three Houses? And of course, please subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you made it this far into the video, you'll probably like my other content. <laughs> so just, just click the little red button. Make my day. And if you're feeling real crazy, you can click the join button that's next to the subscribe button and donate, donate a couple bucks to the channel and uh, get access to emotes and stuff that you can use in the comments and in uh, stream chat. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you next time.